always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Rain is overspreading the area tonight, and it's going to continue for about two days here. So it's a long duration event. Cloudy in Muskegon, rain finally making it to the ground. You can see that uh, all across West Michigan, really, and Storm Track Live revealing that our lakeshore is seeing the decent showers first, with more rain continuing to spread in tonight. And it's not a solid wave of rain. Rather, we have a line and then a few breaks. So at times over the next two days, just expect intermittent showers as it progressively gets a little chillier and a little breezier, too. Storm Track Live zooming in from Muskegon down to Grand Haven. Grand Rapids, Cutlerville plan on rain for the rest of this evening. And in general, rain chances are going to stay fairly high for the next several hours overnight tonight and then lasting through Tuesday. So what we're seeing now is basically what we're going to be receiving for the next couple of days. Temperatures dropping to 49 with the rain in Grand Rapids. That goes for Holland as well. Wind speeds have picked up to about 15 miles per hour. And some locations are seeing steady wind speeds of about 20. And overnight tonight, we're going to hear the wind ramp up. It's going to be pretty breezy for Tuesday. <coughs> Excuse me, satellite and radar showing that the snow is staying on the north side of Oshkosh into Green Bay. And we're not going to be seeing snow showers mix in to West Michigan until Tuesday night into Wednesday. That's when it looks like we might be able to see the cold air wrap in. What happens with this system is so interesting, so watch it with me. 10 o'clock tonight, just rain showers, cold air stays to the north. The 4 a.m. tomorrow, you can see some of the stronger downpours and lightning stays to our south. For Tuesday itself, our wind is still out of the northeast. And then as we get towards Tuesday afternoon and evening, you can see how the center of low pressure begins to arrive over West Michigan, arriving from the southwest, wrapping the cold air down. And that's not the strange part. The strange part is this. This area of low pressure starts cutting up through Tuesday into West Michigan, delivering heavy showers. But then it, it tracks backwards. So this is called retrograding, and it's going to continue to hover over West Michigan Tuesday into Wednesday, giving us this prolonged duration event. System just does not want to leave, and because of that, we at times will expect some snow showers to mix in on Wednesday and even for the start of Thursday. Winds blustery. You can see some wind gusts near 20 miles per hour over the next couple of days. Rainfall pretty significant, at least an inch, if not an inch and a half. Yes, snow. You can see some snow chances here or there. Everyone is included. Not much accumulation, but snow nonetheless before some sunshine for the weekend. I know that this is spring break for many. It looks like this storm system just wanted to hang around West Michigan for did, spring break. Did not want to leave. Yeah, it didn't. It's mm -mm. a cool place to be, I guess. We just keep getting these little teases of warmer temps, <laughs> right? Know, and, it's like, and then it just takes yeah. it right back away. <laughs> Thanks, Ellen.